Bray, he's a hurry, they're catching us up. I can't keep going. You can tell me what happened well, we, sensibly. We were walking through Paulcon's Park and th these two men came up to us at, and started talking to us. Well, one of them was just a simpleton, but the other one, he was really sinister. He really scared us. He, he had powerful eyes. He, he seemed like pure evil. They wanted to know about your experiments and, and they, they said they'd seen our picture in the paper with you. Yeah, Grandad, remember that time you invented the cheap security system for school? Oh, that was a long time ago. So these two chased after you. And then you led them here to the workshop. Wasn't the best place to leave them to, was it? We lost them, Grandad. They don't know where we are. Oh, you are naive, my dear. That's not fair, is it, there? Open this door or I'll beat it down! Go away. What do you want? Can't you see you're frightening my grandchildren? Go away at once. Why are you, Professor Chalton? Oh dear, who's that interrupting my Sunday? Surprise! Hello, Aunt Bea. Hello, Hello. 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 Stephen. 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 How are you? Oh, I'm very well, thank you. How are you? It's <laughs> oh, what's fun? You. Oh, by the way, this is our friend Emma. Hello, Emma. Hello, Mrs. Fing. I've heard a lot about you. Well, it's nice to see you all again. Put the kettle on, Stephen. Oh, yes, Gran. Now then, Lizzie, what have you been up to? Oh, um, travelling? Oh, I know all the gossip. Jenny's filled me in. It's been a fantastic experience, Nan. We've been travelling to the time of the cavemen. We've been to a relaxation colony. We've been to all sorts of alien planets. Yes, and we've been attacked left, right and centre. Well, yes, we've been, we've been all been very, very worried. And especially Jenny. A call or a visit would have been very nice. That's my fault, Gran. I'd led Lizzie off and we've neglected Mum and Dad badly. We did pop back, however, to pick up some clothes and explain about our travels. Well, yes, but it was only a quick visit. Well, it's lovely to see you both. Well, once, we've, once you've had your tea and we've had a chat, I think you should go visit your parents. Oh. 
I'll ask you one more time, old man. Maintain this state of ignorance, and I shall gut out your granddaughter's heart. Got it? Now, what is the nature of your latest project? So, you're more smart than I thought. You do understand about it, do you? Yes, you're quite right in your earlier observation. I am working on a substance which will enlarge matter. But it's in its early stages yet. I'm not sure about the after effects. Hmm. Explain more. Matter, when it comes into contact with a solution, can double in size. Larger amounts can cause unknown metamorphosis. Fascinating. You see, Professor Chongton, I have uh, been... Uh Following your progress for some time, your work in the field of uh, particle dynamics is, well, astounding, really. But when I heard you were working on metamorphosis, my creative and ambitious juices began to flow. You see, I plan to use your solution, Professor, for the enlargement of precious metals. Of course, I should have known. Greed. Well, naturally, old man. The bigger the stock, the bigger the profit. Now, you will help me to achieve my objective, Professor, and hand over the solution. In the wrong hands, this, is, this material is deadly. May I remind you, Professor, that you have precious little choice. I refuse to concede to this. And you'll do as your child will kick you to death. Grandfather, leave him alone. He's old. Charlie, stop them. Kill me, and the secret dies with me. <coughs> Leave him, Blockland. He's no use to us dead. Then again, I don't think he's likely to hold the solution from us if we threaten to make him watch his grandchildren suffer. Which is it to be, Professor? Blockland will do as he is bid. If I order him to pull their arms from their sockets, he will do it. God help you, he will. No! Grandfather! For no. pity's sake, leave him alone. I'll do it. I'll do it. Just let the children go. Grandfather, we can't just leave you here. What choice have we? We have to. What choice have I? Leave them, Blockland. Untie them. Take them far away from here. And uh, leave them. Let them live. Now, Professor, I have kept my side of the bargain. This is a solution. I've called it Hawkeye, after the hawk, metamorphosis and all that. Mm. Very witty, very witty. Just a couple of drops are enough. Much as it may satisfy your selfish, greedy nature, there is side effect. One which I am trying to rectify. If this liquid comes in contact with the human skin, the person will become quite unbalanced and hallucinate. It will become feverish, violent, unbalanced, all things wicked and evil. Well, thank you, Professor. I shall bear this in mind. Oh, one last thing. Your reward. <laughs>